Canon is about to release a firmware update for the Canon EOS R6 Mark II. And this is no rumor as it's already been spotted in the wild. And what about the Canon EOS R5 firmware update? Well, stick around after this short break for all the details. But first, please do me a favor. Follow me on X, formerly known as Twitter, but most importantly, please subscribe to this channel. It doesn't cost you anything, it really helps this channel grow, and it keeps you up to date on the latest camera gear, news, and rumors. The current Canon EOS R6 Mark II firmware is 1.1.2, but according to Canon rumors, we have received two reports of brand new Canon EOS R6 Mark II camera bodies coming with firmware version 1.1.4. And when Canon Rumors says it has two reports, well, one of those is a corresponding picture of the firmware update. Don't you just love pictures? I love pictures. I love corresponding video and photo evidence. I think it just goes a long way. It really helps, well, solidify that position that, hey, I know something. It's not just trust me, trust my word. Look, I've got some photos, I've got some videos. It's true. It's kind of like that whole UFO UAP thing. Uh, we hear a lot of stories, a lot of very compelling stories, but when you actually have the odd video, even if it's a little bit furry, what well, furry, <laughs> furry, fuzzy or blurry, uh, it, it goes a long way to backing up your story. Having a photo, having a video goes a long way. And I can't believe I refer to a Tic Tac video as a furry <laughs> video. Um, that's, I don't have any inside information as the occupants might be furry. Um, I'm just, uh, sorry, this is, it's, early in the morning. It's around five o'clock in the morning. I just woke up to publish this story for you. So I'm just, yeah, I'm a little bit fuzzy and furry in my head. So back to the firmware update. We have that photo showing that firmware 1.1.4 is out in the field. So this is one of those rare occasions where we actually have a firmware that's been approved that's being put into production, but for some reason hasn't made it to the official download site. And as of, as of recording this morning at five o'clock in the morning, we still don't have the ability to download that firmware update 1.1.4. And yes, your math is correct. We don't have a 1.1.3. It probably existed at some point. Canon was testing it and then for whatever reason decided to move forward with 1.1.4. They probably discovered some bugs and they decided to fix that and they were far enough along in the testing that they decided to increment it to 1.1.4. So what can we expect to see in this firmware update? The 1.1.4, well, based on the numbering, um, the versioning number is probably minor bug fixes. And according to Canon rumors, this seems like it will be a very minor update, perhaps a few bug fixes or a compatibility update. So much ado about nothing, right? So I know what you're thinking. So what about the Canon EOS R5 update? You've got something there, right? Uh, no. So the Canon EOS R5 update, the big firmware update that we were promised several months ago for the Canon EOS R5, well, it, we, we haven't heard anything further. All sources are crickets chirping. We've got absolutely nothing. Now the firmware update is due to come and I don't doubt what Canon rumors told us several months ago. They're usually very accurate when it comes to this stuff and we all, all we have to do is look at the history of the Canon EOS R5 and guess what? We can see what, some 12 firmware updates? Uh, that's a huge amount. So to go two or three months without a firmware update, I'd say we're definitely due. And we just had a whole bunch of firmware updates for a bunch of cinema cameras, the R5C, the C70, the C300, the C500. So I think it's safe to say that Canada's had their hands full, plus they're also designing new cameras. However, I'm not making excuses for them. I do believe a firmware update is coming and we could see it this month or into September, but the Canon EOS R5 Mark II is on its way. It's supposed to be announced in the, well, I'd probably say the first half of 2024, according to Canon rumors. However, I'm still holding out hope that it could get dropped. We could get an announcement late in this year, perhaps late October or early November, just like last year with the Canon EOS R5 VI Mark II, the topic of this video. So I, I know there's a little bit of frustration out there, but maybe, maybe we can take a slightly different viewpoint to this. How many cameras do you know of where a company released it or any product and have provided up to 12 firmware updates, not only providing bug fixes, but more enhancements and of course some more bugs which they consequently fix, but improvements to the autofocus system, Canon Log 3 and other video updates. It's, it's really changed how this camera operates. And in terms of the overheating performance, lots of cameras have suffered from overheating over the years 
and none of them have been able to fix it so well in a firmware update. The Canon EOS R5 with firmware 1.6 can now record 8K RAW pretty much indefinitely at temperatures of 70 degrees, 80 degrees, and 96 degrees Celsius, and that corresponds to around 20 degrees, uh, 80 would be around 27.65, and around 36, 37 degrees Celsius. So all those temperatures would have been tested. I tested 70 and 80 degrees, the DEF director tested 96 degrees, and the modes we tested that didn't have any overheating with the LCD flipped out and the auto temp powered off set to high, um, yeah, 8K raw up to 30 frames per second, 4K 30 frames per second, that's the 4K HQ mode. Now 4K 120 did overheat, but again, I think I was able to go something like 20 minutes before overheating. So, it, you know, I know there's a bit of frustration and anticipation of what we might see in this big firmware update, such as pre-buffer shooting, the removal of that 30 minute record limit, as well as some other capabilities or improvements to the autofocus system. But it will come, we will get a firmware update and what's in it will arrive when it arrives. And I just wish my birthday was just last week. It would have been nice to have it for my birthday but then again, I probably would have had to have done a video, which I think I did do a video on my birthday anyways. Um, so you see where I'm going with this. I really do wish I had something substantial and I'm just running my mouth. So let's go ahead and stop it there. But if you do want to stay up to date on all the latest camera news and rumors, specifically firmware updates, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button followed by choosing all notifications. And for all those minor news stories or pricing information, all those stories that aren't quite big enough to have their own separate video, well, then go ahead and follow me on Twitter. Sorry, X, it's formerly known as Twitter, and uh, I'm always tweeting out information. But there is one thing you could do to really help this channel out. Whenever you're thinking of buying, well, camera gear, whether it be lenses, bodies, or accessories, and you're interested in buying from B&H or Amazon, then please go ahead and choose my affiliate links because depending on what's going on any given month, I can get anywhere from two to 6% back. And if you're within Canada, please contact Patrick at Downtown Camera. If you look in the description way down there, you also see his phone number. Um, I've gotta say, I've been very impressed with his support since I started this channel. Um, if, if you're looking at buying a camera, whether it's new or not, um, give him a call, mention my name, and don't be surprised if he cuts a little bit off the top. And don't forget to support your local camera stores too. I love B&H and I love Amazon, but I also respect the local camera stores out there. So if uh, I don't mind if you guys forgo a little bit of commission to me um, from those affiliate links if you're supporting your local camera store, because believe me, they need your support. And it's gonna be a much better marketplace if we don't just have the large camera companies, we have the small ones. But that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.